In this video lesson, we will learn about intersecting chords. So first of all, what's a chord? Well, a chord is when you connect two points on a circle. Basically, it's a line in the circle. So these three lines I've just drawn, the line segments, these three are examples of chords. And what we're going to deal with in this video is a special theorem about intersecting chords. So let's say we have these two chords and they intersect and they separate each other into lengths AB for one chord and XY for the other. Then the following holds. A times B is equal to X times Y. So again, these chords separate each other into two parts and the product of the lengths of these two parts is equal for both chords. So we'll apply this to a few examples and it, it should make more sense. So in this example, we need to find x. So we apply the theorem and we have three times 10 equals x times six. So 30 equals six x. And to solve for x, we just divide by six on both sides and we get five equals x. Or in other words, our answer is x equals five. All right, so now let's do another example. Once again, we want to find x. So we do the same thing. We have 15 on one side and x plus 3 on the other. So we multiply them. 15 times x plus 3 equals, and then 2x on one side times 12 on the other. So now we have this equation, and we can just solve it. 2x times 12 is 24x. Then we have 15x plus, and 15 times 3 is 3 times 15 is 45. Now we want to move all the x's to one side of the equation, so we subtract 15x on both sides. And let me correct that, that's 15x and 15x, of course. So we have 45 equals, and 24 minus 15 is 9, equals 9x. We finish by dividing by 9, and we get x equals to 5. So the answer is x equals 5. And it's always a good idea. We didn't do this for the first problem, but you can go back and do that yourself if you like. But it's always a good idea to check your answers. So I plugged in 5 there, and then we end up with five, 15 times 8 equals 10 times 12 should be true, according to the theorem. And when we multiply these out, we get 120 equals 120. So our answer is correct. And now moving on to problem three. So once again, we want to find x. And we have x times on the other side of the chord x plus 8. And then 6 on one side times 8 on the other side. 6 times 8. So we have these equal, and now we have to multiply things out. And x with x makes x squared. x with 8 makes 8x. And then 6 times 8 is 48. So now we have this quadratic equation to solve. And I have several videos on quadratic equations and how to solve them. So I won't do the all of the work here. <coughs> but we're going to solve this by factoring. And I won't explain how I factored it. For that, you can go to my video lesson, Solving Quadratic Equations by Factoring. But in any case, this expression factors, and we'll use that to solve it. And it factors into x minus 4 times x plus 12 equals 0. And now I know that at least one of the factors has to be equal to 0. And that gives us two options, either x equals 4 or x equals negative 12. So one of these doesn't work, and that is x equals negative 12. Because if we plug it in, we get negative lengths of negative 12 and negative 4. And a length cannot be negative. Length is always positive. So we have to pick x equals 4, and that gives us 4 and 12 for those lengths in the chord. And now we're just going to check that our answer is right. 
that x equals 4 is correct. So 4 times 12 equals 6 times 48, according to the theorem. 48 equals 48, and that's correct. So x equals 4 is the right answer. And that concludes this video lesson. Thank you for watching. I hope it helped.